we, we thought it was going to be like an oversized meetup. Happy 10th anniversary, Kubernetes. Around about 2013, we were all at Google talking about what we were going to do in cloud, what was next. My friend Joe Beta and I were at Google working on this project. We originally called it um, big cluster and uh, it was obviously a really cool project lots of interesting technology and we felt really proud of what we built there was just this feeling between us that hey there might be something to this idea it could be something that would be really big but we'd also recognize that um, we didn't have the go-to-market we didn't have the kind of business apparatus to make uh, Google Compute Engine successful we knew we had to do something a little bit crazy and so we came up with the idea to open source a technology and so we went through the work of, of building prototypes, trying to explain what we try, were trying to do. When I saw their first prototypes, I thought, this is, this is it. I, like, I, know, I know what to do with this. And we uh, decided, we argued for, um, and ultimately convinced the leadership at Google to let us go really radically open. And so there were a lot of questions like, you know, what would governance look like? How are we going to approach the community? Because it turns out starting an open source software foundation is actually a lot of work. I got a, had an interesting conversation with uh, Jim Zemlin. He was like, hey, uh, you know, Google has open sourced this orchestrator, uh, Kubernetes. They want to build a foundation uh, around it. I think you'd be a perfect person to kind of go help, uh, you know, start this. We started a search for a, uh, an executive director. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, Dan Kahn ended up being the, the person that got that role. When uh, Dan and Chris realized what they could do with this foundation in the community, it was just unstoppable. It was a huge phenomenon that really took over the, the globe. The people that I look to for signal in the industry were all starting to just natter about it. Oh, have you seen this Kubernetes thing? There's this thing, there's this thing, it's gonna change things. I was in Israel, in Tel Aviv, and I was at an office and there was a developer there who I'd never met before, and he had a poker chip sitting on his, that's the blue Kubernetes poker chip. And I said, well, where did you get this? He said, well, I went to the event. We're in a, a bar and we overheard somebody sort of on the next table over mention the word Kubernetes. And I remember coming in and hearing about this thing, Kubernetes, and entering you know, this conversation and community of young engineers thinking alike. The first job posting that we saw that mentioned Kubernetes in it, it was like, oh wow, this is really getting big. We liked what we saw there so much, we were willing to make a big bet on it. And uh, so I became the cloud native CTO for Samsung. And we were like, okay, well this Kubernetes thing is making sense to us. How do we deploy applications on that a little more easily? So I got involved in um, building a package manager for Kubernetes called Helm. Um, and our goal was, well, we need to deploy applications on Kubernetes. So how do we package that? And then that was a tool that we built. And then it seemed like it was helpful for other people. So we contributed it to the CNCF. And there was this aha moment for me, and I feel like everybody had it with Kubernetes, where they saw their workload running and they connected with it, and that just took like one or two minutes. And we'd come from a world where getting that took hours or days. Cloud Native Con is what it was called back in 2016 in Seattle. Uh, it brought in about 1,100 people, which wasn't what we were expecting. We were expecting less. And at that point, it was like, okay, we're maybe on to something. And then the following year, it just exploded. I don't think any of us really expected Kubernetes to, to turn into what it did. There was a movement around Kubernetes, and it wasn't just a tech. It was the community around it. It just received all this youthful and creative energy. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this replicating any other space. And that movement is very much 
why Kubernetes is what it is today. It's become something that all of the vendors are using to improve people's lives all over the place. Kubernetes today is effectively ubiquitous. I mean, it's kind of everywhere. Anytime you call an Uber, go shopping in a Tesco, go drive a Toyota, there's all Kubernetes kind of invisibly behind the scenes powering these services. Kubernetes is like, like the thing that changed my life. I think so half the internet runs on Kubernetes. Now, we've done that in 10 years. Yeah. And I think uh, there's a, an awful lot of systems still that, that are going to be modernized and moved. The futures are yet to be written both with Kubernetes and you know other interesting things that will have taken lessons from uh, everything that we've done as a community. I love the project, I love the community, I love coming to KubeCon, wherever it is. It's like hanging out with hundreds of my best, oldest friends. To me, that's, that's what Kubernetes is. Thanks to this project being open sourced, um, just imagine how much further it's pushed our industry, how much further it's pushed all of our careers. This is the most fun project I've ever worked on. I probably would have done that job for free. Happy birthday, Kubernetes! 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 Happy birthday, Kubernetes.